Hi, I'm David Morganroth again with the University of Montana Jazz Program, and today I'm going to talk about what sorts of things you want to bring to a gig. So this is specific to going to a gig with an electronic keyboard, okay? Uh, lots of stuff to bring, so I always put a list together. You don't have to print the list, you can put it on your computer or whatnot, say the tree, uh, but the list is essential because there's lots of stuff on the list. I don't have everything with me, but obviously you want your keyboard, duh, um, your keyboard stand, something you put your, your keyboard on, amplifier. I always like to bring a rug to put the stand on, because one of the things that you'll bring with you that's not with your keyboard is the pedal, and the pedal will slip around all over the place if you don't have a rug. So a rug is, just grab a, I don't know, three by four rug, something like that. A throne, a seat. So I bought a long, long time ago a Yamaha drum throne. Uh, really smart to bring some sort of seat because, yeah, you might be able to, to move your, your uh, stand up and down, but man, if you're not comfortable on the seat and you have some hard chair that you gotta sit on for four hours, not fun. Uh, then of course, you want your own music stand, so I would definitely suggest buying a stand. And a stand light. Probably want an extra bulb, <laughs> just in case, because there are plenty of times where lighting isn't good. You're in the corner of some room, or maybe it's an outdoor gig. Outdoor gig, what do you need? Clothespins. You gotta have clothespins, because if you don't have clothespins, disaster can strike. Um, and then, in general, a dolly. So something that you can move your equipment with. Something hopefully lightweight. Then on top of that, of course, your music. Set lists, so if you're the leader of a, a gig, you want set lists. I also often bring just a list of a ton of tunes. 100 tunes, 200 tunes or something. One of the things that happens on gigs all the time is everybody looks around and says, what do you want to play? I don't know, what do you want to play? And then nobody can think of a tune. So, so list of tunes solves that. I've talked about these before, these little hot hands, that's what these are called, there are several different manufacturers. These are hand warmers, you can buy at any sporting goods store in case your hands are freezing. Gloves are not a bad idea, you're moving equipment. There's nothing like uh, cutting your hand or your finger when you're moving stuff in and then you gotta play the gig. And so band-aids are not a bad idea either. either. Um, then I always bring a couple power cords and an extra one. So you're gonna need two power cords for number one, your keyboard, number two, your amplifier. Having an extra power cord is it's cheap and it's good insurance. I always bring a really long extension cord and a short extension cord along with one of these where I can plug a bunch of stuff in. You'd be amazed at how many times you show up to a gig where the uh, outlet is 100 feet away from where you're supposed to play. And of course, the, the guy who hired you or the gal who hired you, they don't have a cord. <laughs> Speaking of cords, of course you want your quarter inch cords that plug into your um, keyboard, into your amplifier. Uh, generally want several of those around. Sometimes you'll have one line going into your amplifier and then one line going into the board. So you want to be prepared for that. And that's really basically it. It's a lot of stuff actually, but it, it's basically it. If you wear glasses, don't forget your glasses. Um, of course, there's a whole list of stuff that are incidental to the gig. Um, probably want to bring some water, not a bad idea. Pens, pencils. So this goes for rehearsals too, if you're going to a rehearsal. Sometimes you go to rehearsal and the gigs after the rehearsal, you'll need pens and pencils for sure. Um, if you're reading music on your computer or you're a pad, iPad, whatever, um, you want all the accessories for that too. Chords, um, the iPad itself. And then of course, you probably want on your list the clothes you need for the gig too, if you don't uh, dress for the gig before you leave for the gig. Um, really important stuff. And then for those of us who, in the rare occasion, are actually going to be playing a piano, and probably not a university piano somewhere out in the world, and the piano hasn't been tuned, making a little investment 
in a tuning hammer is not a terrible idea. It can save you a lot of anguish during a gig when you play a piano that hasn't been tuned in quite a while or has some zingers. That's the main thing. You have a few notes in here that are just completely out of tune. You can fix that up pretty quickly with a tuning hammer. So that's it. It's a bunch of stuff. Uh, I can send you my list if you'd like it, but uh, otherwise put your own list together and um, this is the way to being a professional musician. Thanks a lot.